What's going on guys and welcome to the fastest, quickest, greatest Quick Revit course. Now the point of this Quick Revit course is for you to learn Revit overnight and finish that assignment that you have tomorrow and still get enough free time to watch an entire season of Game of Thrones. So let's get started. But before that, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I make tutorials on Revit every day. And the reason for this quick little course on Revit for beginners is because I've passed my second goal on Patreon and thank you all of your guys on Patreon, Patreon, all of my patrons. Thank you for supporting me. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And if you want to join my Patreon and help me achieve my next goal, which is hopefully going to make this channel even better, just check out uh, that first link in the description to my Patreon. Okay, so now let's go to our Revit quick course. Now, if you don't have Revit, uh, check out, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description of this video uh, to a tutorial where I show you how to download the free student version of Revit. So if you don't have Revit, first go there and then come back to this uh, course. Okay, come on, go on. <laughs> okay, so all of you that have Revit, let's get started. So this is the first page when you open up Revit and this is where you choose between a project and a family. Family is all of your doors, walls, all of pretty much all of the elements in Revit are families and then projects are, well, they're projects, they're buildings. So you're going to be starting a new project and here we've got some templates. You can go from new, but again, you need to choose a template or you can go here to browse a template. The best way to go about it is just go architecture template. You're probably looking for an architectural uh, building for this uh, kind of quick course. So let's just go into architecture template. Uh, this is going to have some presets necessary for architects. Okay, so once we open it up, you're going to be greeted to this screen and this is what Revit looks like. Here you've got this little thing with all of your tools that's called a ribbon and ribbon has tabs and tabs are architecture, structure, steel and many more. Don't worry about it for this we're mostly going to be using the architecture tab and uh, maybe add some annotations, some dim lines, something like that. Uh, maybe go into massing and site and create some site with some site components like this tree over here. Then we're going to go to views, of course create some 3D views, some camera views, stuff like that. And then we have this modify tab and this is uh, where you can well make some simple modifications to all of the elements that you're going to be creating. Okay, so that's our ribbon and on those little tabs we've got these panels. So we've got a build, build panel, so circulation panel, model panel, basically grouping commands uh, in some sort of an order. Uh, so just don't worry about that. Just you need to know that all of the tools are over here. Then we've got a quick access toolbar. That's this little quick thing over here. That's quick to access. You're modeling something here, you quickly access it. Modeling something here, quickly access it. You get the point. You've got your save button, you've got your undo button. That's really important. You're going to be undoing a lot in the beginning. In the beginning. And then you've got some additional tools over here, but more on that later. Uh, now this might not be up here uh, in your case. Uh, if you just right click and go show quick access toolbar below the ribbon, it might be over here. And if you're annoyed that it's over here as I am right now, right right click and bring it back up. Okay, another necessary two panels that you're going to be using all the time are this properties panel and the project browser. Now you might be seeing these or sometimes uh, people like to uh, place uh, one of these uh, like this and uh, it's super annoying for me, but some people like to work that way. I prefer to have more uh, screen for my model. And if you can't see uh, these two over here, uh, that's probably because they're turned off and then you just need to go here to view user interface, find them, uh, you've got your project browser and you've got your properties panel. So just make sure that they're both checked. If it's unchecked, you can't see it. If it's checked, you can see it. You get the point. It's very simple. So how does this work? Uh, well, uh, the properties panel is basically displaying the properties only for the view that you've got ac that's active right now. So in, in this case, this is a floor plan. Also here you can see it says floor plan. Level one is highlighted. So that's the one that's uh, that's active right now. 
And if we place some sort of an element or if we just start some tool like the wall tool, for example, so just start the wall tool and as you can see the properties panel now changes and here you've got some changes that you can make for a wall. So first you can select the type of the wall that you want to use, just scroll down through this. Okay, so we've got different types of walls and if you go all the way down you can find some curtain walls. Ooh, that looks nice. Anyway, here you've got some uh, additional constraints and uh, a bunch of settings for walls but more on that when we start actually placing walls and here also you've got this little info tab or whatever you want to call it and again you've got just some of the stuff that's in the properties panel it's over here and then you can just start placing walls if you want and you exit out of the command by hitting the modify uh, tool or just by hitting escape uh, you navigate just by scrolling your mouse wheel or you can uh, click on the mouse wheel and then you can pan around so you scroll away from yourself to zoom in or you scroll towards yourself to uh, zoom out and unlike AutoCAD if you're probably used to using AutoCAD uh, there are some shortcuts for example for wall it's WA uh, but uh, not for uh, most elements so uh, you're going to be have to be clicking these icons and uh, of course another big uh, difference is in AutoCAD when you uh, enter a shortcut like wall for example you would have to hit enter but here you just hit W a and it starts the wall tool without hitting enter. I mean it's not really that significant but it makes sense for me to tell you. Moving on, let's go to the project browser to finish this whole Revit interface. So for the project browser this is where all of the, your, your information about your project is. So here we've got some walls and as you can see we can view it from this uh, from uh, this elevation and it immediately goes to south elevation. If we go to level 1, it goes to level 1. And as you can see, we don't have any 3D views yet, so let's create a 3D view to see these stupid walls in 3D. So you just go over here to the default 3D view and as you can see now we can see all of our 3D walls. And over here we've got a new view that appeared. So before this, there wasn't anything between ceiling and elevation. We hit 3D there we go so we've got this 3d view and of course you can open and close these uh, little dialogues for floor plans and for ceiling plans i always close it because who needs ceiling plans and for 3d you open that up because this is revit and you love looking at your project in 3d of course okay so uh, we can scroll down even uh, lower and here are some elevation here are some schedules we're not going to be going into that all that much maybe towards the end of the course here we've got some sheets when you create sheets and prepare everything for printing this is where you go to check it out and if you want to make some changes now to these walls you can select them and go to properties panel and maybe change this to from unconnected to a level 2 perhaps and this is what it looks like now you might be noticing that when we create these new views and we go over here and open up a bunch of views they're going to be appearing over here like this uh, like tabs on your web browser and these are the opened views so if I start closing these uh, you can do that but if you're left with only one and you go to close it it actually closes the whole project so if you don't want to close your project uh, at least leave one of these on and uh, if you just make too many of them and uh, you, you don't like having too many of these little tabs you can just when you're not using a view you can just turn it off and then just go over here to turn it back on so that's how this whole project browser works and how do all of these views work. And of course if you want to save all of this, uh, well, needless walls, uh, you can do that. Just go to File, Save, or you can go here to this little quick save icon, or you can go to Save As and save it as a project. Or you can even export it and you can export it to AutoCAD. So you can go DWG and you've got this dialogue, you just hit next and you can save it wherever you want on your computer. Come on, cancel. Okay, but you get the point. So those are some of the basic things about uh, Revit and building information modeling. And if you want to continue learning, make sure to hit subscribe. I will be leaving uh, these tutorials uh, every day now. Maybe I'll make some, uh, some pauses. But the point is for you to learn Revit as quickly as possible. So this kind of concludes uh, the whole uh, chapter or the whole part where I talk about some general 
parts about Revit or how the, the whole interface works and starting off from uh, the next tutorial we're actually going to be uh, starting a real project and the project that we're going to be using is the getting started with our Revit architecture uh, course uh, by I think it's a technical university in uh, Zurich Zurich I don't know uh, but anyway they have this tutorial that's really popular it's quite an old tutorial but it teaches you all about Revit and I'm just going to be creating this video version of that tutorial and if you want to check that out link in the description as well okay so this is pretty much it for this beginning stage thank you for watching please subscribe like share video check out my patreon first link in the description thank you all and make sure to stay tuned for the next one